back to my channel so you guys have seen me do pretty much every room in my house there was one room in particular my DIY studio office guest bedroom that was like one of the first rooms that I ever really did I didn't really even do it there was a lot of furniture that I already had that I kind of just made work in the room well now that I've done so many makeovers in my house I'm not really vibing with that one anymore I think it's really time for us to redo it and I'm not kidding my office DIY studio is a mess I have not touched it because I want you guys to really see how I've been living with it for a little while and if you guys want more behind-the-scenes content about my room makeovers or DIYs or even more Kinsley definitely follow me on Instagram at McKenna Lee and I'll leave it in the description bar below so that you guys can head over there so let me show you what the office looks like right now. Okay, so are you guys ready? <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, I don't even know where to begin. I have been doing so many projects. I've got my sewing machine still out. I've got the table in the middle of the room. I've still got all of my, like, diffusing light situation that I film with up. This was left over from when I did the kitchen, this one too. I've got old, oh my God, this is actually really cute. I was cleaning out a closet and I didn't know where to put it, but I wanted to keep it. I made this when I was in college. This was the first sewing project we had at FITM to show you all like the different techniques and sewing stitches. I got an A. Lights set up and this picture that came from my kitchen that I never just, I literally just put it on the nail. Like I didn't even, who am I? I don't know what any of this is. Oh my, look at this. Like all of my labels are even messed up. This is like real life DIY challenge. Everything's falling over. Kinsley, what are you doing? More boards and old pictures that were fails back here. All of this is n not cute. This is actually my old bed and it's like back here and I'm keeping it because I am redoing um, my niece's bedroom. So with a lot of the stuff that's in here is actually gonna be repurposed, either back into this room or into other room makeovers that I'm gonna do later. Um, but it was funny when I was actually doing this room a year ago, I really wanted a kind of beautiful gallery wall of a collection collection of like inspiration pictures, things that like kind of inspired me. Um, and it actually is here and it's behind that mattress, but it was just printed on my computer, kind of collaged together. I was so excited when Decenio actually reached out and they wanted to collaborate and build a beautiful gallery wall in this room. I got here yesterday and I have been literally holding back restraint from opening it for you guys so that we could do it together. But also I wanna give you guys some tips on how to build a gallery wall. I feel like it was a little intimidating on which ones to pick and which sizes and how it's gonna lay out. Um, so I kind of created like a little plan in my head, which I think will be helpful. So let's go and pack. There's art inside. That's so cute. Okay, so this is the mat. Wow, that's gonna be a big picture. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. And then all of the frames. Two of this size, this size. That is a picture. Okay, so this is our art. Oh, wow. So I got two small ones, these two guys, and I got a quote, oh, it's so pretty. It's like an abstract piece, so pretty. Oh, and then line art. They have like tons of different colors of frames to match your decor. I really like this like natural color. It's like when you get a new phone and that plastic cover that comes off. Okay, so they're all put together. I love the color palette. I think it's gonna be perfect in this room. If you guys click the link below in my description box, you will be able to shop all of the ones that I have that I picked out to go in this room, as well as they're like, hundreds of more options. They have truly beautiful posters for any decor. And if you guys shop early for the holidays, Decenio is running a special 30% off holiday offer until December 30th 
at midnight. But with that, you can get an extra 10% with code McKenna. And I'll leave all of these details in the Dropbox below. And my code will run until midnight on the 31st of December. So you have a little more time with that, but why not show up early, right? The only thing that the discount won't apply to is like frames and some of their more hand-picked and personalized prints. Um, but all of the prints that I'm using in my room and tons of other ones, you'll get a discount. So let me show you guys how I planned out my gallery wall just really quickly so that you guys kind of have a, a plan or strategy going into building your own gallery wall. So heading over to decenio.com and then clicking on their gallery wall section. They have amazing inspiration, but all the way down at the bottom, they have some templates. I'm just gonna copy the template that I like into Pages or Microsoft Word and paste it in and then go shopping. Once I found some of the ones that I liked, I just opened them large scale to see the picture, copied that picture and pasted it right on top of that gallery wall template and then kind of played around with the different pictures, the ones that I liked, the layouts and sizes that I liked until I got it perfect. And that's a really simple way to create a gallery wall. So here are our paint options. So this color is this color and it's a sample that I picked up from Lowe's when I originally thought I wanted to paint it this color. And then I found this color. So this is fabric of my couch and we're putting a lot of these like warmer tones in this room. It has a little bit of a pink undertone. This one is more yellow. I think I'm gonna go this route because I don't want the room to look any sort of pink. Okay, so we're gonna head to Lowe's, pick up the supplies that we need, come back, clean out and paint and get this show on the road. Okay, so we got the room cleaned out and it all prepped to paint, um, but I'm gonna change my clothes into my painting clothes. Wow, you guys, this color is like creamy and dreamy. You guys will be able to see it better in the daytime tomorrow. It's letting the rest of it dry, so let's go shopping. I love all these rugs for the office, but I really like this black one because it'll add so much color to the room. And this is the rug that I have in my bedroom. Oh, I still love it. Look how pretty this throw is. This is on sale too. I really love the color of this desk and the gold legs. The drawers are kind of shallow, um, but I think it's okay. And here is my paint swatch and my fabric. I think it's gonna work. You guys, look how beautiful this pink color is in the daylight. Oh, and with the light couch color, wow. And last night you guys saw that I took a shopping trip and I even asked you guys their, your opinion on Instagram about the rug and you guys really loved it. It is a five by eight. Wow, this is such a beautiful rug. It has all of the gray tones that I needed for the couch. And then it introduces this like rust color, which kind of pairs well with the wall because it's got a lot of like yellow in it. And then it brings in the dark with the black. Ugh. Do you love it? Kinsley, look at your hair. Okay, so we've got our desk and we're gonna bring it back into the office in pieces. Um, but I love this desk at World Market. So let's hope it looks good in the room. And I like that the desk is like larger. These drawers are actually pretty shallow. So they really will just be for like paperwork. Here are all of our decor options for this room. And so of course we have our Decenio pictures. We have the cane chair that I DIY'd in my Ikea hacks video. We have all of our flea market find items, which are so pretty. This tree was in here before. This was in here before my pegboard, which I use a lot. So I definitely want to go back up. 
and then my baskets with more fabric and camera equipment. So all of this is gonna go in here in a very styled way. I wanna get the largest part of the room in here first, which is the gallery wall. We're gonna hang these two up first and then surround them with the other three. So this mirror that I got from the Rose Bowl flea market, I thought would be beautiful right here. It's like the perfect fit. Although we'll make sure that the curtains don't cover it once we hang the curtains later. So this is the tree that I had in here originally and I'm hoping it works because I really like it. these baskets from the flea market as well and I kind of wanted to make a collage of them on the wall. I can just put a little bit of paint on that nail and you'll never see it. So this is the cane chair that I DIY. The base of this chair is actually from Ikea and then I stained it and put this pretty cane on the back. So I was hoping that it would work in this room. I always sit with a blanket over my feet when I'm at the desk. I figured I'd keep one in here for me. I have these two baskets that I use to store fabric in the bottom and then all of my like camera equipment. It will be pretty kind of back where they were before, right here, like this. Right behind the door, I can store my lighting equipment. When I film in here, I can take it out so it's just not permanently in the room. I really like having these pegboards in here that I got from Ikea and organized like the majority of my DIY supplies that I access a lot. But since I have so much going on on this wall, I think I'm just gonna hang one right here above my baskets and then get another one and hang two of them here. Since there was this space kind of on the side of the pictures, I made this macrame plant holder. It was like a thrift flip because I found this like gold kind of basket thing. I'm gonna hang this up here all the way up to the ceiling and then it'll add some greenery in here. Okay, so I think we're getting there. I need to go pick up a few more things like some curtains and maybe some little like, desk accessories. So let's go shopping and then style it a little bit and I'll show you before and after.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of extreme office, guest bedroom, DIY studio, film studio makeover. And if you did, definitely hit the like button below and don't forget to head over to Decenio. The link is in the description below and definitely shop early to take advantage of their special holiday 30% off plus an extra 10% with code McKenna through midnight on December 30th. All of that information is in the description below. And if you guys aren't already part of our growing DIY family, definitely hit that subscribe button below because I post new home decor, room makeovers, and DIY videos every Sunday, so you're not gonna wanna miss him. So definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it hit my middle toe. He's complaining because this little bitty baby thing hit him in the middle toe. <laughs> middle toe, whoa.